Who's gonna shower first? Bad night. How could one possibly have a bad night sleeping on sharp little rocks? Oh. There. How's that? I'm married to a real boy scout. <laughs> I got merit badges you never dreamed of. <laughs> I bet. All of them in animal husbandry. Mm. Okay, how about a little breakfast, huh? Fresh coffee, nice spam, nice warm fire, huh? Could ask for more. You're looking at her. <laughs> In great. What? So I always want more, never satisfied. More, 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 more. No, uh -huh. like more uh, sharp little rocks. Hmm? Maybe later. This is private property. Bert and I would appreciate it if you left. Now. Sorry, we didn't realize we were trespassing. Bert, the name of your dog? Yes, ma'am. We'll wait for you to pack your things. Uh, is the gun really necessary? I think so. I'll, uh, I'll take the sleeping bags to the car. I had to put out a good fire. Something wrong with your dog's leg? No. Do me a favor and look at that rear one. He's, uh, he's favoring it. Something must have bit him. Can I take a look? Still got this gun on you. I noticed. Bert doesn't usually like strangers. Well, maybe he knows I'm a vet. That blood's caked. Must be a couple hours old. Uh, this wound ought to be cleaned and dressed. You really a vet? Maybe we can work something out. Uh, you take a look at his leg, and I have some coffee already made at my house. All right. Okay, let's go. I've got a patient to attend to first. Hey, you don't have to worry. He's a very good doctor. Um, Danny, uh, sorry, my name's Danny. Are you here alone, Danny? Well, of course not. I'm just a kid. <laughs> I know. I was just wondering, are your mother and father at work? Or? Uh, divorced. Well, what time does your mother get back? There's a few things I'd like to tell her. Well, actually, my mom's away in Canada for a couple of weeks visiting my grandmother. You can, you can explain about Bert to me. Who takes care of you? I take care of myself. What about Bert? Well, he's not in the clear yet. Still a chance of infection. You should take him to a vet for antibiotic shots, okay? Well, why don't you give them to him? Well, I haven't got any medicine with me. Oh, okay, I'll make sure he gets his shots, and uh, Bert and I appreciate all of you done. It was very nice meeting you, Danny. Uh, hey, I don't know your names. Pam? Mark. Well, thanks. You're very welcome. See ya. Hey. Bert and I, we're in your debt. Decide. It's either 12 years old or closer to 50. Ah, Morgan. Oh, we should be in Idaho by tonight. It's just a boy. He shouldn't be left alone like that. Kate. Well, what do you think? Well, he seems to have everything under control. I don't know whether I'd buy that story about his mother being in Canada. 
Hey, look. There's a guy in worse shape than we are. <laughs> Obviously a man with a dream. There's gold in them there hills. <laughs> There's rocks in that there head. <laughs> I say, we just passed the laundromat. Does that give you any ideas? Oh, we'll do a wash in Idaho. <laughs> we better. This morning, your socks were standing by your boots. Oh, yeah? Well, what was this once? Uh, white? Huh? <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> What'll I do? We can't outrun them in this. Better pull over. See your license and registration, please. Is this serious? I'm sure I was going under the speed limit. Well, your brake light's out. Tail light's busted. Well, we were uh, planning on fixing them, Sheriff. Glad to hear that. License and registration, please. Uh, gee, I can't seem to find my license. Honey, where did I put it this time? I don't know. I, I wish I knew. Uh, would this do? Right here, just a minute. We've had it. Damn! Kate, listen, I'm gonna try and lose him. Meet me back at that minor side. Hey, Jim! Go! fish in the wrong little pond, Wyler. Too bad I couldn't have caught the mama fish. She's wanted for murder. Yeah, well, things are tough all over, aren't they, Sheriff? You're gonna find out just how tough. Now, they tell me you've never been convicted before. You've never been inside. Well, that might work to your benefit when it comes time to making a deal, but you're gonna have to cooperate. Now, where was Mrs. Wyler headed? Come on, Sheriff. <laughs> Wyler, you don't have much else to give me. 
Look. Now there's a full state alert out. We're gonna get her. Now listen to me. Now she's not dangerous. She's not a threat to anyone. Can you tell her? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. That's why she tried to run me over. If she'd wanted to hit you, she would have. She knows cars. That particular skill won't be of much use to her. And as for your present situation, I don't think you'll be making very many visiting days. <laughs> she didn't do anything. All right. And you didn't bust her out either. I had to. I had to. She was set up. I, I, I couldn't. Oh, just... some strange miscarriage of justice. Just a very tight frame. Now listen. She's not armed or anything. Can you can you tell them that, please? Can you just tell them that? Wyler, she's a convicted killer. We're gonna act accordingly. And now for a special announcement. James Wyler, husband and accomplice of convicted murderess Catherine Wyler, was apprehended at gunpoint today by Morgan County Sheriff Andrew Ford following a desperate escape attempt. The sheriff has placed Weiler in custody at Morgan County Jail, but the whereabouts of Catherine Weiler remain unknown. Mrs. Weiler eluded sheriff's deputies after nearly running down the sheriff while driving a yellow sedan. listen to Ralph, but he's so damn serious all the time. You want to make money or listen to one-liners? Well, what I'd like is some more personal service. He's not unattractive. These entanglements of yours have been notoriously brief lately. Yeah. Now, a good stock portfolio has a certain longevity that... You know, you always make so much sense, it's detestable. <laughs> I must have asked that man to play tennis a dozen... What is it? What's the latest on the Weiler? Excuse me. James Weiler was arrested yesterday in Morgan City, Utah. Authorities are still searching for his wife, Catherine Weiler, who's believed to be still in the area. No, I completely the forgot I've got a dentist appointment. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow. you like animals. What? Yeah. Thanks. They're my wife's subscriptions. You know, I'll save them well, protect the seals, that kind of stuff. Thanks. Bad dream? No, I... I had her and I, I let her go. Your wife? Oh, she, uh, she looked like my wife. That's how Kate was framed. They used a double. <sighs> Come on. Unbelievable, isn't it? It's the truth, though. You know, they found a ringer and they pulled it off. And I, uh, I can't stop until I find her. Should 
have been an actor. Look, I don't condone what you did. But I think I probably understand it. I, uh, I doubt your wife was ever convicted of murder. Doesn't matter. She's gone. Sorry. I used to laugh at those. One of these days, I'll cancel a subscription. Danny Norell? I'm Frank Drucker from the school district. Do me a favor, pals. Tell your mother I'm here. I'm sorry, Mr. Drucker, but she's not in. Why don't you come back some other time? I'm uh, afraid I can't do that, son. I've got these letters here I've got to discuss with her. Problem is, see, we kept writing your mom that you're a real bright kid. So bright, in fact, we think you should be moved to an advanced school. Didn't get any reply. And then we started getting these letters back with all kinds of excuses why you shouldn't be transferred. Well, I guess I gotta go with what my mom says. Your mom didn't write them. I've seen some of your mom's notes to your teachers. She could hardly put a sentence together. You wrote the letters, didn't you? I wrote them for her. There's no lie against that, is there? It's not what I think. See, nobody's seen your mother for quite some time now. Tell me the truth, Danny. She left you, didn't she? No, she didn't. She's just away. She's just away visiting her mother. Now, Danny, I've been told she's never been much of a mother to you. Don't you talk about my mother that way! All right, Danny. I've tried to play it straight with you, Danny, talking to you like an equal, but now I'm telling you the way it is. Twelve-year-old boys can't live by themselves. I've got no choice but to report you to social Let services. Go May I ask who you are? It's my place to do the asking. You're the one who's come and welcome to our house. Our house? I'm Danny's Aunt Pam, and I'm here taking care of him while my sister's in Canada. Now, who are you? I'm... I'm Frank Drucker from the school district. Danny's teachers and I think he should be transferred to a school for gifted children and... Well, I guess I'll discuss that with Danny's mother when she gets back. Now, I'd like you to leave. And if you ever lay a hand on this child again, do I make myself clear, Mr. Drucker? Good day, ma'am. Thanks. Would you like to come in? No, listen, listen. Uh, I actually came here for a favor. You see, Mark is in Morgan, and he's waiting for me, but our car broke down, and I have no way to get to him, so I was wondering, could I borrow your truck? That old pile of junk, it doesn't run. Uh, would you mind if I tried to fix it? If you can fix it, you can have it. But it's gonna take more than a few hours. Uh, well, I'll just camp out in the truck, if, if that's okay with you. No. No? Bert and I would like it better if you slept in the house. Just tools in the shed, and uh, dinner's at six. Okay. full force. There are reporters all over the place. Well, we can't have him making statements to the press or anybody else. The last thing we need are questions raised, investigations started. It's not going to be easy. Yeah. 
I'll handle it. I think I can get it to run. Not well, but it'll run. No, I put some fresh sheets on the bed. You did? Did you do everything yourself? Ah, uh, just about. What about your mom? What does she do? Oh, uh, she's mostly interested in horoscopes. What do you mean? Does she tell people's fortunes? No, she's just interested in her horoscope. She buys that to newspapers and magazines to read them. She says that way she knows if it's worth getting out of bed or not. <laughs> you know, I'd like to meet your mother. Just what talk. For? Danny, I know you take very good care of yourself. Oh, she's coming back. I know that's what you told me. But I just don't think it's right you being alone here without an adult. What difference does it make? Tell me, what difference? It only makes things easier. Much easier. Now I've only got one person to take care of instead of two. She's not coming back, is she? Danny. No! Don't you understand? I don't need any adults. Adults lie. They let him go away and leave you. I have Bert, and he is all I need. Chef's gonna love you. Tell him not to worry. I'll still recommend it to my friends. You're not a bit sorry about all this, are you? The only thing I'm sorry about, Sheriff, is getting caught. Leaving Kate out there alone. Well, she seems to be doing a pretty good job hiding herself without you. She's got to be long gone by now. I doubt that. I get the feeling you two don't go in for very long separations. I wouldn't be surprised. You're still in the county. Board. Thanks. I, uh, I think I would have liked your wife. Most people did. Accident. We'd been planning this camping trip. For a long time, a plane was going to take us in and drop us in the middle of nowhere. We were going to spend a week alone together. Amy was all excited about seeing some bald eagle or something. On the day we were due to leave, she started feeling poorly. I told her it would be all right once we got away. But it wasn't. Things got worse. And out there in the middle of nowhere, Amy's appendix burst. I kept telling her it was going to be OK. I kept telling her to trust me. And she did. Right up to the moment she died. I'm sorry. Phone, Sheriff. It's Washington, the FBI, about the prisoner. See you later. I might try getting some sleep.
unconfirmed reports that James Weiler, now being held in Morgan County Jail, will be transferred into federal custody sometime soon. Morgan County Sheriff Andrew Ford refused to comment. Roadblocks are up all over the county as police continue searching for Weiler's wife, Catherine Weiler, the convicted murderess of Victor Madrian. Catherine Weiler, five foot six, with red hair, was last seen fleeing in a yellow 1970 Plymouth sedan. We'll be right back after this message. I do. Heard it all about you on the radio. Your name's Catherine. You murdered someone. That's not true. I didn't. I guess you must have called the police by now. That's not it. I don't believe you killed someone. But, but why did you have to be like all the rest? Why did you have to lie to me? Why couldn't you have you been different? No, no, no. No, Danny. Danny. No, listen to me. I'm sorry I lied. But Jimmy and I are fugitives. We're running, always fearing to be caught, always, always fearing to trust anyone. Lying becomes a way of life for us. Can you maybe understand that? You should have trusted me. I'd never tell anyone. Well, fear makes trusting hard, doesn't it? It's like that with Bert and me. We're always afraid. What, that someone's going to find out that your mother's not coming back? Take Bert away and put me in a home. Why isn't she coming back? She said that she'd done her share of raising me. And uh, there's things she wanted to do. Things beside taking care of a kid. Well, what about your father? He's dead. <laughs> she lied. Listen. Oh, she lied to me. <laughs> She said that she loved me. I know. Listen, listen, Danny. I am going to take care of this. We'll figure something out. But Jimmy is in a lot of trouble. I've got to get him out of that jail. They said they were going to transfer him. What? When? Where? I don't know. I just heard it on the radio. Okay, I've got to get this thing running. It's got a hole punched in the gas tank the size of my fist. I need something that... You know... Maybe I could jerry-rig a tank out of that. Do you have any garden hose? Yeah? Okay, go get it. Go get it. Got a good breakfast this morning. Eggs sunny side up, bacon hash brown, and biscuits with homemade preserves. Is this some kind of last meal? Sort of. You're being transferred today. The FBI wants you bad taking you into custody. As for your wife, state police has the area sealed off. They expect to have her by nightfall. I'm sorry, Weiler, but I guess some things from the moment they begin have their outcomes already determined. I don't buy that, Sheriff. If I did, I would have given up by now. Maybe I can't always make things work out. There's never a good enough reason not to try. Estelle Modrian and her hired killer named Shaw committed murder and nailed my wife with it. What would you do? Bike registration's up, Andy. Well, we'll get you a new one. Where's your mom? I haven't seen her around lately. Oh, she's away. Since when? Oh, a week or two ago. Who's taking care of you? Oh, Bert and me. We look after each other. Hello. Yes, right. That's right, the high school. Oh. It's the safest place to land, and it's only a block away. Hang on a second. Danny, I don't want you back there. Well, I'm getting hurt. Danny, what are you doing? Do you know where they're taking you? I don't know. Do you know when? Well, maybe later this afternoon. Well, don't worry. Kate's coming for you. No, Danny, tell her no. Hey, get out ready? here. Danny! Go 
told you not to worry. Well, what about the FBI? Oh, they won't be a problem. How about Kate? Any news? Where he is, she is. She won't be far away. All right. Let's get this over and done with. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know. I'll have to figure that out when I get well, there. Maybe you could use the truck. Bash it through the wall. <laughs> I don't think so. I rode my bike there this morning to kind of check things out. What? Why didn't you tell me you did that? Because your husband said he didn't want you coming for him. And I figured you didn't want to hear that. Did you ever hear the expression, too smart for your own good? I better come with you. No way. It's too dangerous. What about the roadblocks? Without me, you never find a way into town. Well, you could draw me a map. You'd never find it. What if you made the wrong turn? I better come with you. OK. But as soon as we hit town, we part company. You got that, mister? Get your bike. out there. I'm going off the bat. FBI. I'm here to take custody of James Wyler. agent. Dr. Weiler, I'm placing you in federal custody. Thanks for the hospitality, Sheriff.
Somebody get a doctor. Please, Sheriff. Call the state police. Please, Sheriff. I promise I won't tell anyone, but they're in trouble. Did anybody get the license of that truck? Who's in trouble? I know them, Sheriff. The Weilers. They need help. Behind me, you can see the chaotic aftermath of James Weiler's incredible escape, in which his wife and several unknown accomplices took part. There's still much confusion about the identity of the man who posed as an FBI agent, but it appears that he, too, was an accomplice of the Weilers. Roadblocks have been set up at all intersections surrounding the area, as well as in the outlying vicinity. you, but Kay, that was really stupid. You could have gotten killed. Yeah. Well, you did something real stupid for me. Kate. Kate. I... Oh, God. We gotta get you out of those. Oh, that's good, Kate. And what do you plan to use besides your teeth, huh? Sure, they're headed to your place. Well, I showed Kate a way to beat the roadblocks. These people are wanted criminals. They didn't do anything. Oh, Danny's all right. Well, Danny strikes me as a very resourceful fellow. Ah, easy. Oh. Easy. Soon. It won't hurt anybody. Maybe, maybe not. Well, this other man, he shot Deputy Dillon and he was I going... know, I saw him. You just hang on to Bert. I'm counting my fingers. Oh, oh you would great. We're not armed. Oh, I had to tell him, 
Kate. No, it's okay. Sheriff, please, let them go. Danny, go inside and get some clothes. I'm taking you all in. But, Danny, you did what you thought best. Danny, it's okay. Go inside. Go inside. Saw your man with the gun, but not well enough to identify him and help you out. You know, Danny's always bragging about that mud of his. About how he's never wrong about people. I've never known that kid to be wrong either. If you'll just follow the stream down through the woods, you come to a railroad track. You catch a slow moving freight there in about 20 minutes. No, what about the boy? Don't worry about the boy. I do worry. His mother has left him. I promised that I would figure something out. I know all about that. I'll take care of Danny. Believe me. Now, get Come going on. before I change my mind. Thank you, Sheriff. Where's Jim and Kate? They got away. Real tricky, those two. Sit down here a second. It looks like you and Bert are going to be needing a place to stay. I can't leave you out here. Well, we can take care of ourselves. I don't doubt that. But I guess you're going to need some time to kind of make some plans. I guess. So why don't you and Bert come and stay with me for a while? At least till you get things kind of sorted out. You know, Danny, I figured out a long time ago that I can't always make things work out right, but there's never a good enough reason not to try. How about it? Okay, but no promises. No. No promises. You know how to fix a flat? You bet I can. 